In many societies, if not all, unity and cooperation are the essential elements for sustainable development. The government of Rwanda teaches the people how to unite together and work together to achieve the common goals. In this video, we are going to describe the unit and cooperation in Rwanda, the situations that show that there is unit and some issues that hinder unit and cooperation in the community. Welcome once again. The Rwandese relationship had problems right from the colonial days up to the time of genocide against the Tutsi in 1994. In order to mend the relationship that had strained, there was a need to find common understanding of oneness of Rwandan people. That is why Ndumunya Rwanda was initiated in 2013 with the ultimate goal of building a national identity and fostering a Rwandan community that is based on trust and unity. Now, let us define the concept of Nomunyarwanda. What is Nomunyarwanda? Nomunyarwanda means having Rwandan spirit, a strong relationship with Rwanda, either born in Rwanda or naturalized. It means what? It means having Rwandan ideology, sharing responsibility, having one vision, and equal human rights in Rwanda. The goals and targets of Ndumunya Rwanda. One, knowing Rwandan history. Rwandans must know their history and admit it even if it is painful. Two, admitting the past however painful it is. By Admitting that past, however painful it is, people come together to work for achieving the common goals. By admitting that you are Rwandan, people will respect you because they will see you as someone who is proud of being a Rwandan. The next goal of Numunya Rwanda is to return the dignity of Rwanda and that of the Rwandan people. The divisionism, the greed for power, and other forms of poor leadership in Rwanda led to 1994 genocide against Tutsi. After it, People had to reconcile, to unite for a better development of the country. That is why another goal of Nomunya Rwanda was having the courage to reconcile all Rwandans. There could not be a development 
without unity and cooperation. Reconciliation was one of the targets of the good leadership of Rwanda after 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. Ndumunya Rwanda teaches about the qualities of a Rwandan. Some of them are listed below. The qualities of a Rwandan that are taught in Ndumunya Rwanda are trusting each other truth and tolerance, listening, humility, self-respect, helping each other, teamwork and complementarity. The last one is patriotism, to love your country. The main objectives of Ndumunyar Rwanda include the following. Sharing our history and our past. Creating a platform for problem solving. Rwandan problems are for Rwandans. They are the one to solve them. Building a bright future for our children. Rebuilding Rwandan society. Teaching people to avoid division and misunderstanding among them. Instilling in the masses a culture of self-respect. Two, admitting the past, however painful How it is. the government of Rwanda carry out the Munyarwanda campaign. Rwandans are taught about the Munyarwanda through different seminars and meetings, public gatherings, through the community works, and on the harvest day. We can also list other ways through which Ndumunya Rwanda is taught, like Ito Rijijihugu and so on. What is unit and what is cooperation? Unit means people living together as one and having love for each other. On the other side, cooperation means doing things together and working together in agreement to achieve the common goals. In the community, in the society, like Rwandan society, there are different situations which will show you that there is unit and cooperation. Let's look at some of them. One, people coming together to build common projects. Rwandans are taught about Numunya Rwanda through different Three, people coming together to clean the environment. Four, children from different homes playing together. Five, helping people in need, for example, by providing homes to orphans. Now, let's look at some issues 
that hinder unit and cooperation in the community. Of course, they destroy the unity and cooperation of people. Those issues are religious difference, unequal sharing of resources, political differences, intolerance, ethnicity and tribalism, corruption, among others. All these issues will destroy the unity and cooperation among people in the community. Let's look at some different ways of promoting unity and cooperation in the community, like Rwandan community. Having love for others. Sharing the little we have. Being honest and trustworthy. Talking to one another to solve problems. Allowing the people to express their views freely. What we call the freedom of speech. Listening to other people's view even if we don't agree with them. Encouraging people to work together in the community. The unit and cooperation in the community is very important because it enables a country to enjoy peace and stability. And when there is peace, when there is stability, people can work and develop. Two, the peace is very important because it makes people want to develop their countries. So the unit and cooperation leads to the sustainable development of a country. Three, when there is peace, people work hard to create wealth for themselves and their country. People develop themselves. But where is there is, where, when there is no unit and cooperation, there is no development.